Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrew and oh boy, uh, the last week I have been uh, fighting off a, a, a virus of some sort. It was very head cold like but uh, doesn't mean I had a head cold. Who knows? These days apparently all the viruses can do everything. <laughs> so who knows what it was. Uh, I mean, I tested negative with, on a home test for COVID, whatever that means. Um, uh, but it, it was pretty rough, so uh, there was there was no way I was I was filming. So I apologize for last week, but that's okay. I'm going to be doing a small mini series this week, three episodes long, uh, and then I'll one very short episode after that, and then I'm off for. Uh, my December uh, time off that I normally take so if if, if you, you're fairly new to the channel um, I take from December 15th to uh, January 15th off uh, and uh, then start up again after that uh, so excuse me I have noticed some troubling uh well there's a lot of troubling behavior out there right now let's be real uh almost every facet of society but uh the the, the one i want to talk to you about today is the idea that you are not allowed to be patriotic because if you're in you if you're patriotic that in some way makes you racist This is what happens when we don't teach people what words mean. Because those two words are two very different words, meaning very different things. Um, I mean, I can kind of understand the argument that they're making. I would never agree with the argument, but at least I kind of understand the argument that they're trying to make. It's being done very badly, basically because, well, a lot of these people have been told to believe it and they don't even know it. and you get it they don't do any work on trying to figure it out themselves they just follow like a, like the, the sheep they are but a lot of people today are arguing the fact that well if you're patriotic and you live in the states or we, we, we actually have seen this less in Canada um, although it is there too actually um, but if you, like, for instance, if you live in the States and you're patriotic, that means you're racist because there's a lot of really bad things happening, including racism. Well, that's a hell of a stretch. It's a stupid jump to make. Um, here's why. Yes. A patriot loves their country, whatever country they live in. They love it. But... That doesn't mean a patriot is also blind to their country's flaws. A true patriot loves their country, sees how their country is not doing well, and works to try and make it better. That's what a true patriot does. So it's, it's ridiculous to me, these people saying, oh, well, if you're a patriot, you're a racist. No, no. The, the reason they're saying that is a lot of patriotism or a lot of patriots are conservative and therefore they're making the assumption that all conservatives are racist which is a ridiculous black and white thought process anyway and as I've said before on this channel hey black and white thinking is what men people with mental illness do now I'm not saying that the, the people who are arguing this have mental illness I'm just saying that's the world we live in right now so uh, mint tea Mmm, very hot minty. But there's a group of people who I believe are, are kind of semi responsible for a lot of this. Oh, you can't love your country anymore, because that's 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 basically what they're trying to they're trying to do. They're trying to make it they're trying to make it uh, somehow bad that you love your country. Ignore these people just ignore them but 
there is a, a group that seems to be pushing towards this, and uh, well, it's 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 a little ironic because this group who hates their country absolutely refuses to refuses to you know move away to a different country enjoys its freedoms enough to say that they hate this country but can't then realize how just how free they are in the country and uh yeah it's it's kind of like a a person you know tweeting on x from their iphone saying i hate commercialism it's it, it, it's in the same line of realm of ridiculousness in my opinion Then why do you have an iPhone? Then why are you in that country? I mean, you can absolutely leave. You have that right. They will not stop you. Believe me. Uh, but a lot of these, uh, a lot of that sentiment comes from uh, the leftists right now. Unfortunately, it's one of the reasons I kind of moved away from uh, the more left that I was. Not that I was ever that left. Uh, I have beliefs on both sides of the political spectrum. I always have. I would say I was more left than I was right, but you know, that's part part of this group has pushed me away, and that's the uh, the the I'll, I'll call them the new age Marxists, the Marxists that don't know anything about their own history. Because they think bringing Marxism in would bring forth the the utopian freedoms and so on and so forth. I've listened to a couple of these people in the last few days. I probably should have waited till I was healthier because my brain hurts more now. Um, these people clearly have no idea, have never studied history, have never looked at history. Over a hundred million people have died in the implementation of Marxism and its very closest, closest uh, real-world uh, example, communism. Because, well, you have to force people to do stuff they're not going to like to do. Let's be real. And so what's fascinating when you talk to these people who don't seem to even realize that this is a thing. And unfortunately, the most of the people who are interviewing them don't have a uh, don't have a follow-up question to save their lives here. Here's a, here's a simple follow-up question. How would you implement it? And, or, here's another great one, name one country in which it was successful. And I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a very, very easy definition of successful. Not killing loads of people in the process. That's all you need. That's all you need for it to be successful. Just don't kill a bunch of people. Oh, well, you know, if I did it, it would be different. How egotistical are you? Because that's, that's the biggest counter that they generally have to a question like this. Well, if I did it, it would be different. You have no evidence of that. You would still have to force people. You would still have to. There would be lots of deaths still. You're not that good. As, as Jordan Peterson says, you, you're not that good. I think he says that you're not that good, sweetheart. <laughs> Which is a very Canadian way of saying it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a ridiculous concept. I heard one person, well, in a utopia, uh, uh, sir, um, this is the real world, not a utopia. So uh, how does it work in the real world? I don't care about what the best case scenario would be. I mean, the best case scenario 
the, the country I'd be living in would be better than it is. And there's the thing. Yes, there are flaws. There are flaws with the U.S. There are flaws in Canada. Right now we're seeing... I, I at least personally believe there are a lot of flaws in Canada. That being said, I still love Canada. I may not like the government, but that doesn't mean I don't like Canada. Mm. So, for the next two videos in this series, I'm going to do one video in which I talk about um, one of the things that's happened to my family recently and why I love Canada so much. Uh, I am going to also find some flaws still within the system, but that's okay. Flaws are okay, we just need to work on fixing them. And one thing I really find that's problematic about Canada right now. Uh, and uh, so those will be in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you then. Uh, I believe I'm going to be releasing this one, uh, probably going to be releasing uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday of this week, just so everyone's aware. Uh, but whatever whatever day this one actually gets released on, the next one will be the next day, the next one will be the next day, etc. Until then, have a good one.